Welcome to the Elementor Pro, I'm Jared, and today we're gonna to talk about how to connect ConvertKit to Elementor. ConvertKit is an email marketing tool with some really great automation tools that make it easier for you to communicate with people through your, you know, they sign up through your website that, you know, want more information on a product, something like that. Uh, we can create forms in Elementor, and the form builder is pretty decent in Elementor, uh, but we want an ability to connect those people to a tool so that we can communicate with them. ConvertKit's a fantastic tool for that. If you haven't signed up for ConvertKit yet, you can get a uh, trial using the link down in the description below, so make sure to click that link. Head on over to ConvertKit and give it a try. I think after you see this video, you're going to see a lot of use in uh, connecting ConvertKit and what you can do there. So the first thing, obviously, you're going to need is a ConvertKit account. The next thing you're going to need is a form. And so we're looking at a landing page that I built out here in Elementor. I've talked about how to build this exact landing page in a previous video, so make sure to click around and watch some of the other videos here on the Elementor Pro channel. Now with a form built here, you're going to need to select that form and under Actions After Submit, you'll want to add the ConvertKit action. And then down here you'll see now we have ConvertKit. Uh, we need to connect our API, and so we'll need to go to Custom so that we can enter our API. Now you need to go into your ConvertKit account, go to Settings, and then go down to where your API is, and grab your API key. Make sure to keep this API key secret, because if anybody has this API key, they can connect to your ConvertKit account, and you definitely don't want that to happen. So I'm going to take my API key and paste it in, and you'll see it's automatically loading in the different forms that I have available. So what this is doing is it's connecting to a form. So that means we need a ConvertKit form for it to connect to. So from ConvertKit, under Grow, go to Landing Page and Forms. You're going to want to create a new form, and you can just choose a basic form. Uh, any of these are, are going to be fine, it doesn't matter which one you choose, and I would just go and choose the basic one because this form is actually not going to be displayed to anybody, but we need to have a form that matches the form in Elementor so that they can connect to each other. So I'm just going to choose the basic Claire form here, and then I'll rename it to Elementor Pro Subscribe. And you can see I just have an email address field here. I want to add a name field as well. So we want to come in here and set this custom field as a first name. And then I can reorder them. Reorder them like that. I just want to collect first name and email address. That's all that I want to collect, so that's fine. I don't need to do anything else there. I can then publish this. There is some configuration that we're going to need to do. But now that this uh, form is published, we're ready to go. If we go back to Elementor here, and uh, you you're see we're not going to see our Elementor option, so what I need to do is hit update and then just refresh the page so that way it pulls in the updated information because we did create that new form after we connected the API key. So it's loading in the forms again, and I can see I have Elementor Pro subscribed there selected and now I can do my field mapping. I want email to go to email and I want first name to go to name. And then I can apply any tags. This is a great option right here because in order for us to trigger some sort of an event over in, in ConvertKit, such as a welcome email or a, uh, a subscribe confirmation email, we need to apply some sort of a tag. So you can see that I have a list of all the tags here. That's something else that we need to create as part of this, uh, this new form that we created here. So under settings for the form, there are some things that we need to configure. The, this message is not going to be shown to the person. We have that message created on our landing page in Elementor. We don't need to set up a custom domain name or anything like that, but we do need to set an incentive email to get them to, to confirm their email address. So we're going to click Edit Email Contacts. We'll just uh, look and make sure that everything is good here, that it's coming from the right email address, that the subject line is what we want it to say. So I'm just going to change that to a capital. Thanks for signing up. Click the email below to confirm your subscription. Um, yeah, that looks good. So I'm just going to hit Save. And then under Advanced, I could just make sure everything is fine and click Save. 
and we're done. So we do need to make it so that when somebody fills out this form that a tag is applied. We could do that either over in Elementor because we have that nice list of tags, or we can do that here in ConvertKit. I would rather do it as a rule here in ConvertKit, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Automate and go to Rules. Under Rules, I'll click New Rule. And so when this trigger happens, when someone subscribes to a form, and we'll choose our Elementor Pro Subscribe form, then we want to add a tag. And so the tag that I want to add, we'll click on Create New Tag, and I'll put Elementor Pro Subscriber. And so that's a new tag. So now when somebody fills out this form in Elementor, Elementor is going to send that over to ConvertKit. This rule is going to tell ConvertKit that somebody filled out that form, so now we want that tag applied. And now when somebody fills out that form, their tag will be applied, and, uh, and then we can send them an email sequence or even automate a series of things. And so, uh, you know, if ConvertKit is something that you're super interested in, let me know because I've really been thinking about creating some ConvertKit content. As you can see, I've got a lot of different rules here and a lot of different automations that tackle things for me that make the process of getting information to people that they want much easier and also helping them find things like my courses and additional information so that I'm not bombarding everything with everybody with everything at once, but sending things out periodically, making information more useful and easy to digest. So now we don't really need to worry about this tags area here in ConvertKit. I can go and add that tag, but since I've set up that custom rule, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'll simply hit update, and then our form is ready to go. So now when somebody fills out our form, which is an Elementor form, it's going to connect to ConvertKit. It's going to send their name and their email address over to ConvertKit. ConvertKit is going to trigger a confirmation email to be sent to that person, which is going to complete the sign-up, giving them the opt-in or giving us the opt-in so that we can send more emails to them in the future. From there, you can set up a custom sequence to send to people. Uh, you can send up a list of uh, automations to send them through a specific process. You'll have to learn a little bit about ConvertKit from there, but this is how you connect Elementor to ConvertKit. If you have any questions at all, definitely ask down in the comment section below. You can come to this form here and subscribe to get my email newsletter updates, which will include tips and tricks like this when we put out new videos and stuff like that. That link is down in the description below. Click the subscribe button here on YouTube to be notified when we have new videos put out. It also helps the algorithm know that people care about our videos, so definitely click that subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Other than that, I hope that you have a great day, and I hope to see you back in another video here on the Elementor Pro. Take care.